Uh, my name is James Staples. I work for the Alliances team. I'm a solutions specialist, and I'm here with our good friend and colleague, Agni, uh, from Audio Technica, category manager EMEA for commercial audio. And uh, we're going to talk about flexibility and intelligibility for present day meetings. Agni, take it away. Thank you, James. So I'm Agni. Nice to meet you. Thank you all for coming. Uh, I was told to make it very short, and all my colleagues bet that uh, I couldn't finish in 15 minutes, so I will try to go very quickly and not introduce myself, because that would take more than 15 minutes. So, um, without further ado, just let's go to the topic of today, which is clicking. Click. Technical difficulties. Who knew? There you go. Ah, uh, good. So, um, we're obviously Audio-Technica, so we are specialized in audio, as the name implies. And uh, with our partners and customers, we're always facing what I kind of call the audio capture conundrum, or usually there's the customer's need, and there is the technical people, and there's the architect, and all of these usually don't mix well together. So we have uh, several problems. The first point is the space, is where. I kind of summarize that into where. So we, have, we can have a lot of flexible space configuration. In the past, it was more static. Nowadays, our customer requiring a flexibility, spaces that change in configuration between the uh, uh, different application. Um, and um, so yeah, there's the, the space issue, which is one of the parameters that we need to take into account. And then there is the who, so who's speaking. Um, and now we need to identify who's speaking. We can have multiple speaker, one speaker, moving speaker, sitting speaker, all sort of positioning and all sort of people also with different role. And we need our, our customer needs to identify these and we need to be able to give them this information. The third part is the what, the content, and the most important part, I think, when we are discussing about communication and meeting is the speech and the speech intelligibility. And this is a very important point. And the last part, which is the connection, because now we are not in these small closed uh, spaces, but we have to interact with either a different room, either remote participant, either different remote solution. And we, so we need to connect and integrate with an existing environment. So these four points, the location, the where, the space, the who's speaking, the uh, content, and the integration needs to all come together in order to give a good experience to our, to our customer. So that's basically what we're trying to solve here. So to do that, we have our ceiling array speaker that we've developed and we've been working with QSC for, uh, QC, sorry, for, <laughs> for quite some time. And now we came up with um, the, um, the, the plugin for our ceiling array uh, microphone. And this mainly help us solve the connect and integration part. Um, and the rest we'll see with the, uh, with the, the rest of the presentation. So, very quickly, um, and you can come to our booth, which is in Hall 3, to have more detail if you're interested uh, in our ceiling speaker, uh, ceiling array microphone solution. But first, in terms of connection and integration, so the plugin provides a very simple way to set up the microphone and to optimize the space. And that's really the most important part when we come to this collaboration with QSYS, is we need to make things simple to our user, and our user is like kind of a two category. We have the end user, who's actually paying the final bill and using it every day. And when we have our system integrator, which are our partner, and we want to make their life easy so that they're happy to use our product, don't have issue with it, etc. And that's where the plugin allows to have a very simple integration into the QSYS uh, ecosystem. We, we can identify the microphone using the identify button. We can control uh, the channel naming and then this uh, identification 
which comes back to what I was saying with the who, who's speaking. So with this beam, we can send this information downstream to the, the rest of the QSIS uh, environment. We can, uh, of course, control the audio and uh, control the muting of the individual microphone or control all microphone if we're in a panic mode or <laughs> we want to have um, a whole silence out of it. So very simple control, very simple integration into uh, an existing QSIS environment. We have, we can go more into detail, but what's very interesting for our system integrator when they want to create custom solution, when they want to, to create um, more uh, complex integrations, is we have a lot of uh, additional control pins so that we could use and connect uh, from our microphone, gets the data, and control various parameter inside QSIS. So use, I don't know, mic positioning to, to control camera, or, you know, if you, uh, I don't know, we, we, you can imagine like, um, you know, imagination has no limit. So you can basically grab this information and assign it to different area. Um, so the channel naming, I already said that, so that <laughs> is there. And also the very important point is we are providing the audio channel position. So we can provide to QSIS the position of each speaker. And this information, which is horizontal but also vertical, will allow us to you know, create more accurate positioning when we do camera tracking with PTZ. And <coughs> we can also create zones and then have the different camera activates whenever the speaker is in this or this or this zone. So this is a very, a very powerful uh, feature and, um, and makes it a very simple for the integrator to create all sorts of camera tracking solution. So of course, the, um, we are uh, an audio technica, um, sorry, we're an audio company and our history, uh, we started with hi-fi. So, we are super, super, um, we have a very strong emphasis on sound quality. That's really our DNA. We're not saying that as a, as a gimmick or a marketing, you know. It's really, we still continue to make hi-fi product. We moved into the professional product uh, area in, in the 50 years ago already. So initially we did cartridges. In the 70s, we started making broadcast microphones, so really, Sound quality is a strong, strong emphasis for Audio Technica. And so this integration allows us to bring the sound quality of Audio Technica in terms of microphone capture and to bring that good signal into QSIS. And then from QSIS, from there, you can process it and then you can play it with uh, your speaker solution, your DSPs, your et cetera, et cetera. So this is, we provide the first signal, the good quality signal that can then get transformed even better um, <coughs> with, uh, with QC. So this is really what's the point of this collaboration is. And in addition to uh, the audio part, because we are now in the 21st century, it's not just about audio. We also need to have this data, this metadata information. And this is what we provide with the, the 1061. So the metadata could be, so like I said, who's speaking, where is he speaking, what is he saying? So all this information can be sent and um, through the control pin that I was showing earlier could be used inside QSIS to create all sorts of interaction. So finally, to come back to the, um, my initial point with uh, my four point um, problema or dilemma is the where. So how do we solve the where? Well, we have six dynamic beam on our microphone, so we have beam that's moving automatically and tracking the speaker. So we can control the space even if speaker go to a different space or if we have a, a meeting room that has different purpose. So one day we would be like, like talking like this, the next day there would be a, like a round table. So the dynamic beam automatically can adapt to this configuration. We can create up to 32 pickup zone. We can create exclusion zone if we don't want to hear the people here talking near the, the bar, we can just create an exclusion zone and then the microphone won't pick it up. So we can create all those kind of zoning inside the, the area. And we can create presets for different applications. So the same room can be 
classroom one day, boardroom the next day, and these are all handled with presets. That's how we control, or we kind of try to solve the position or space point. The second point is the who, who's speaking. So we have a voice activation, uh, voice detection, sorry, voice activation detection algorithm. So our mic react to voice activation, not to someone typing or someone eating chips and stuff like that. Um, we can generate priority zones. So if we have important people in the, in, the, in the space, we can assign a specific zone for these people and they would have a priority channel uh, directly from the microphone. So always an open channel for them. And we can create the, the naming for each channel to, to identify who's speaking. For the content, uh, the what part, so yeah, like I said, we're an audio technic company. And we are really also trying to get a very natural sound, because that's what's helped um, reduce the hearing fatigue. So the more natural the sound is, the easier. We, you know, we spend the last three years in meetings, and not all of us had super nice room, great microphone, and, uh, and nice speaker. So we experienced that extremely tiring experience of bad sound quality in meeting, which usually you just switch off and stop listening to what's happening on the meeting. So we really have trying to get the most natural and the most um, you know, good sound uh, from, for speech intelligibility. And for that, we have onboard processing. So our mixer can already process the sound before. Well, our internal mixer in the ceiling array can process the sound before sending it to, uh, to, to QC. So you already have a kind of clean, good sounding signal before entering the QCIS environment. Of course, if you wish to, you can do that completely, you know, have it completely um, flat with no EQ, no uh, compression, no nothing, and uh, do all the processing in QCIS. It's just up to you. And finally, the connect. So we have a Dante connection currently um, that's allow us to connect to all the other equipment being uh, QCs um, and other you know, speakers and stuff like that. We can generate also, we can connect directly from the microphone to, uh, to create some kind of camera zone where we're sending this information through IP to tell it's in this zone. Obviously, with QCs, we don't need to do that because we're sending the, the, the XYZ coordinate and QCs is doing it. But some other people, not everybody is lucky, lucky to have a QC score. Um, and we have metadata and control. So all this information allows us to you know, create a more integrated solution uh, for these, um, these meeting spaces.